and yes, she's here. Um, I don't know if you can see her now. I haven't got a camera on her, have I? No camera on her? No. Anyway, sorry, talking about the cat, Misty is here. People always ask if, if I do a video and Misty's not in, I get more emails saying, where's Misty? Oh, you can see her, she's there. Hello. I get more more videos. I get more emails saying, where's Misty, than I do um, talking about the video itself. Anyway, I've got a um, smart... Uh, full HD, it's not a 4K. Is it a Hitachi or a Bush? It's a Vestel. Oh, it's a, it's a Bush, everybody. An original Bush. Um, but I can turn this into a Panasonic if I wanted to. Do you know what? That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Turn this into a Panasonic. Uh, there's a... Oh, I can't. No, of course you can't because the Panasonic is 4K. So it'll be completely different. I was getting it confused with something else. This is not a 4K model. Okay, moving on. Uh, the picture on this is very blue. It's blue backlights. And I'm just going to do a very quick video. I've got 20 minutes because in my scrap pile of backlights, I've got a full working set that's been taken out of a smash screen. And as I'm big on recycling, I thought I'd use these. Um... But I don't know if it's an exact fit. It's the right amount of LEDs, and it's from a Vestel 49 screen. But there are two sizes in a Vestel. One is slightly bigger than the other. And this looks, if you think that the backlights start about there, or there, hmm, now I'm not convinced. I think this may be a bit too small. These may be the smaller ones, but I need to know. I need to go looking anyway. So um, let's let's take it apart. Well, the back's off it, but I'll take the rest apart. And the next bit you'll see will be of the um, of the LEDs themselves, and we'll see if it's the same ones. But I'm now doubting it is. Um, but I may put those other ones in. Just just lay them on top until the original set turn up. So we'll stop this from being a blue picture, but we probably won't get a full, evenly lit screen. But we'll see how it looks anyway. A lot of people, when this fault first started, two or three years ago, or first being noticed, I want to say people, I also mean a lot of engineers, would have diagnosed this fault as a screen fault. Um... But it's the backlights themselves, so if, if you've ever seen a TV, a friend's TV, if your TV is going a bluey type picture, so many people don't notice it. It doesn't bother so many people. Um, but this is the reason why, and I'll switch all the lights off. The TV may come on, I may have to start pressing buttons, I don't know. There you go. Now, I'm not too sure how blue you are seeing that in its standby mode. I've just realised that my wobbly cam is um, falling on its back. So do excuse me a second, because I can get a better picture. Sometimes blue backlights, I've just remembered, don't come out so well on the videos. They, they still come out looking pretty darn white, even though they are pretty darn blue. Um, and of course, this is one of those main boards that hasn't got the toggle switch on it, has it? So I'm going to have to force it on by connecting it back up. To that. Second, I need some space. I 
Oh, so I need the lights on. Right, I'm just connecting the IR sensor back up. As you can probably see, I've just plugged it in there and then I need to get a Vestel remote control. Well, funnily enough, there's a Bush remote control here, Vestel. This is probably the remote for this set. So that means we can turn the set on and you will see bluey backlights. They don't look very blue. On the video. If uh, sometimes they look blue if you look at the reflection of them in the screen behind. But um I mean just to give you a guidance, it'll be interesting to see that one is white but that one is very blue can you see a difference very blue normal white it's hard for me to see in my monitor and sometimes because they're so bright it doesn't tend to work that well we've also got one out there not that it matters because we'll be changing the whole set the question remains the replacement set that I have are they big enough? And I still say no. But once again, I'm wrong. They are big enough. Bing. That's a B. It doesn't match that, but I gather it matches one of these. Not too sure which one. Oh, there's the Bs. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to put these new ones in and then we will see what the difference is on the picture. just had an error message come up on screen so I don't know if the last segment recorded it possibly did but I don't know if it did but you didn't miss anything we've just put the new backlights in and I'm going to put the TV back together which is nice of me isn't it if you you know think about it Ooh. realized I haven't put the screen tabs back in yet how strange is that anyway Up we go, making sure the screen lines up. Now I do realise it's not a brand new set of backlights I've put in for this one. It's a used set. But I would still give a full warranty. I, I know who's having this TV. Um, it's one of my best customers.
screws and bits. Oh, I don't think I've recorded me dismantling this TV, so I don't know why I'm physically recording me putting it back together. Oh, if I am recording, I'm recording, yeah. This is one of those sets I've, I've had in here, my little home workshop, since Christmas, before Christmas, I think. And it's the 2nd of March today. I'm not going to screw it down for two reasons. One, I'll put the back on. One, I want to test it first and make sure that everything's absolutely fine before I start putting screws in. I want to test that the Wi-Fi card is working, all HDMI is working, um, etc. And two, I don't have the screws here. I, this must have been dismantled by somebody else at the other workshop. But it's not to worry, because they're only Vestel screws, and as we all know, you can get Vestel screws everywhere. Yes, you can. Got an... Ethernet lead. You say Ethernet or Ethernet. I've always said Ethernet. But I always say privacy and not privacy. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, so? <laughs> Get on with it. Well, I, you, you do have an Ethernet, but you don't have a very long one, do you, darling? It's, it's not going to do much at all. If you're going to test the TV, you will probably... I will test it on HDMI for now. You coward. Any HDMI's on the side? Yeah, there is. That will help. The blue picture should have gone... And I also just realised that you didn't see the blue picture. You saw the blue backlight but you didn't as such see a blue picture. Right, wait for the um, DVD to warm up. Let's just see what the white picture lights are like. HDMI 2, I think that's the one I'm on. It is. Jolly good. Uh, once again, I don't know what you can see. Oh, I can. I can see the monitor, so I can lift that up a little bit. That looks absolutely fine.
I like it to go to the next screen because this screen is a good indicator on how well the back lights have lit everything up. And here comes Madam, who's just had her supper. All right, Madam. Yeah, you're a Madam. Oh, would you look at that? That is fine. That is good. Screen needs cleaning a bit. But don't they always? Jolly good. And it's the standard smart stuff. Which I won't know about until I plug it in. But it's I'm not going to have too many exciting things. But it's going to have enough. Oh, well, that's good. Right, as I said, it's only a quick job. And that's how quick it is. Um, because I'm well aware that the last video I did it went on for about six years. So it's just a blue set of backlights that we replaced. Uh, I wasn't sure if the backlights were going to be long enough or if they were going to be exactly the correct ones, but they were and they're okay. Now the TV is done. <laughs>